Hey everyone, it's David with davidspassage.com and today I am going to do an overview and a setup of the Cedar Summit Mosquito Pyramid Net. In a couple of weeks here I'm going to be traveling to a part of the world that has malaria. And so one of the things that I have to be thinking about in terms of combating that are a few things. First of all, uh, I'm taking lots of bug stuff, you know, uh, enough to get me by, but it's going to be the good stuff because I don't want to get malaria and I don't want my family to get malaria while we're in Kenya. So kind of my first line of defense is, you know, through bug spray. Um, but at nighttime, you know, one of the things that is sort of common in different parts of the world are putting up, you know, bug nets. And so what I wanted to do is sort of show you the bug net that I chose, talk about why I chose it and then do a demonstration of how to set this up. So first of all, why did I pick this particular mosquito net? Well, um, the biggest reason is because it came with sort of a, a treatment on it that it is gonna deter the mosquitoes. That was one of the big things. Second of all, I really love Cedar Summit stuff. You know, for the price, they just make, they make really good quality stuff. I know it's a little bit pricier than some other mosquito you know, nets that you're gonna see on there, um, but it's really good quality stuff. And the other reason why I bought it is because of this no seam fabric, which is a lot smaller than you know a lot of other bug nets that are just sort of cheap bug nets. And what that does is that keeps even the little bitty flies that kind of fly in and have a tendency to fly in and bite you from, from getting into you. So basically when you get the thing, you know, it comes in this pouch and you can read some of the things there. It's got insect shield repellent gear, you know, mosquito pyramid. Now this is a double. It's 240 centimeters, you know, long, 170 centimeters wide and then 130 centimeters tall and what i liked about this particular configuration is it's configured in a pyramid format so that you know you can sit up in bed you know and it tapers down towards the feet some of the features of this you can kind of read on the package but it's a comes in this really nice ditty bag uh, with a little strap around the end and it kind of has this handle on here it pulls right out it's in there a little tight, so I'll show you how to how to get that back up. In the bag is, you know, the net, obviously, but there's also this sort of like tent. It's kind of like one of them retractable tent stake things, you know, that this is what's going to give it its shape when you put it together. And again, this is, you know, just a really nice mesh material. It's a no seam material. One of the things that's really nice about this black netting is that you can really see through it. What I found with white nets is that, you know, oftentimes it makes it a little bit more difficult to see through. It's not as clear. So that's one of the reasons I like the black netting. Now to give you an idea of just how fine this no seam fabric gear, here's a picture of my good friend George. And uh, here it is up against, here George is behind the, behind the curtain. And you can really see against a dollar bill um, just how fine a weave that no seam fabric is. So basically it says this item has been treated with permethrin. It's going to repel mosquitoes, ticks, fleas, and flies, which is really good because one of the you know problems in the area that we're going to be in, they have a problem with fleas and chiggers. When you open it up along the top, you know this is this uh, gray thing is is the sleeve you know which you insert that um, that rod in, and we're going to show you that in a little bit. And then you have you know some string that you're going to be able to hang it up with. On the string itself, you have a really, really itty bitty bitty one of these little push button tensioner dealies, I can't remember what they're called. And, uh, and at the end you have a hook. So you can, you can hook this to something on the ceiling and then um, you know, adjust the suspension of it to however much you need. Along the bottom, on the inside of the flap are a couple of different colored little tab deals. And uh, there's, there's two blue tabs, little loops rather, I should say. And uh, there's two red loops. That, that's basically just an easy way to tell you which one's front, which one's back. And we'll show you when we set that up. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna find that little, uh, that little pole. And you just take that tent pole thing and you just insert it, okay? Put it all the way through. When it comes to the pole on this end, you just want to make sure that it kind of wiggles and wiggle it in there and make sure it fits all the way in there. And then, you know, just sort of pull it. Don't pull the rag because then it'll, it'll unfold, but you want to pull it so that you can um, get the end of that pole just beyond that little bit of uh, Velcro. So as you can see, that's going to give us, you know, the rigidity of, of it and sort of set the form of the, of the net. 
And the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hang it. And I'm just going to use my, you know, my drop ceiling here. So the next thing that you're going to do is just sort of, you're going to spread it over, you know, whatever it is you're, you're laying in, whether it's your bedroll or, or even a mattress. Um, you know, in my case, this is a sleeping bag here. I'll probably have a mattress. Again, this is a double, so it's going to be a little bit, um, I should really put two sleeping bags here to show you. But I don't know if you remember those tabs that I showed you earlier. Basically, the blue, you know, go towards the feet and the red ones go towards your head. So I'm just going to spread it out. And if it looks like it's hanging low, you know, don't worry about that just yet because we can tighten that up in just a minute. I, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the corners and I want to tuck it underneath. You know, it's, and it's got a seam right here. You know, it's got a seam that kind of runs along that, that kind of curls over for putting it underneath a mattress. So what I want to do is make sure that gets tucked under my, you know, my bedroll or, or whatever it is that I'm going to be sleeping in. Again, it's going to look a little bunchy because it's a double, but that's okay. It's okay to have a bigger net than it is to have a, a net that's too small. Okay, so now that I know, it's, you know how it's going to fit and I've got it kind of tucked in, now I can adjust the height to, uh, to really sort of secure things if I need to. And so I showed you this a little bit earlier, but basically, you know, you've got this little uh, sort of tensioner, and all you're going to do to sort of adjust the height is, you know, push that button down. And the string here, you know, goes up to that hook. The hook has a loop in it. As I pull this tag end down, what that's going to do is that's going to raise the, the bug net to where it needed to be. I feel kind of weird do it, setting this up in my basement, but I figured somebody might benefit from seeing how a mosquito net is set up. How you get in it is pretty easy. You just sort of... You know, and you make, you sort of just climb in and, and just tuck this stuff underneath the, the bed again, whatever your bed is, and then you lay back and, you know, again, like I, like I like about this triangle configuration is I can sit up and not have to worry about the mosquitoes and whatnot, but I can also lay down and, and it's pretty nice that way as well. All right, so how do you roll this thing back up and put it back in? Well, first of all, you just unhook it. You know, second, you just want to take this um, pull out of here. Just kind of comes out like that. You know, just collapse that, and it's got those bungee things in there to sort of keep it together. Uh, now, what I like to do is just take the bag. You could probably just shove it in there, but I, I'm, I'm a neat freak, and I like to keep things sort of tidied and whatnot. Um, but if you see how wide the bag is, you know, it's just about. It's a little less than, or I guess more than half. Yeah. Um, if you see, if you fold this over, this gray thing over once, you see that the gray thing is actually longer than the bag. So I'm actually do it in thirds. And then what happens is, is that net is just about, just about the right size, um, you know, for how long the bag is. Now what I'll use, do is I'll use that as a gauge and roll it up and uh, just sort of roll and compress just so that I can get it in, in the bag like that without, you know, too much headache. Shove it in the bag. Oh, and it fits with room to spare now. And you don't want to forget your pole. So that's it. That's the Sea to Summit Mosquito Pyramid Net. Just to give you an idea of how big this is. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not much, not much wider, and it's not, it's not taller than a one liter water bottle. And actually, this has got a lot of room in it. I could really compress this even more if it, you know, these poles are sort of, you know, kind of limit it from being compressed this way. But if I wrap some cordage around that, I mean, you can. You can see it's it gets pretty squished in there. Another thing I thought I would do just for some of you backpackers, just in, in people who might use this in another type of setting, just to show you how much it weighs. So according to that, 11.7 ounces, or 333 grams. That's not too bad. All right, so that's it. That's the Sea to Summit Mosquito Pyramid Net Double. And thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching this. 
and just appreciate all your comments and support and, and uh, follows and all that good stuff. Um, if, if this is something that you'd like to pick up, you can follow a link in the description and that supports me as well. And so I just want to say thank you again and we'll see you outdoors. Take care.